My friends, as we welcome this New Year's Day and begin another year of grace, 2019, the Lord gives us the image and example of his mother to reflect upon. Today is the solemnity of Mary, the mother of God. I've often spoken about Our Lady, for I, as you, have great love for her. And there are many adjectives that can describe this remarkable woman of faith. It was her yes that gave us the gift of the Lord we celebrated just a week ago. But of all the adjectives, the one that seems to very much resonate in my heart as I've been praying these last few days is strength. You know, oftentimes in art, Mary is depicted as a very delicate and very quiet figure. And rightfully so, because Mary knew her place as being in service to her son. Her life, as I've often mentioned, it was not about her, but in service of this remarkable gift that through her came to the whole world. But we should not mistake that for weakness. For Mary was truly a very strong woman. Strong in faith to be able to hold firm to what she believed, even in the face of opposition, even in the face of, as her son grew older, misunderstanding and persecution. She was strong to stay firm to what she knew was the right thing, even in the face of gossip, which would have surrounded her pregnancy, surrounded her and her child, and her husband, Joseph. She was a woman who's strong in her conviction that in the end, she would follow what God willed, not what she desired. That strength is a challenge for you and I, isn't it? Because we begin a new year, you will make resolutions and so will I. And apart from losing weight and some of the other things that we normally talk about, what about a resolution to ask for greater strength of faith? greater strength of witness, greater strength of character, greater strength of integrity of life. To ask for that zeal and power to stand firm in a world that wants us to go with the flow or be like everyone else. Perhaps this is the year you and I can ask for that grace in imitation of the great mother of God, who was prayerful, reflective, docile before the will of God, but strong and convicted in everything she did. My friends, I will be praying for you as we celebrate New Year's, that this year will be a time of blessings and joy and health for you and those whom you love. And perhaps you and I can reflect on, may this be a year where you and I grow in strength of mind and heart in service of our Lord and of his great mother.